Hi, boys and girls. I need you to, again, get out your packet that had not potato chips. You may even have ripped off a couple of the front passages that we did to take home. That's fine. Today, I need you to take out how animals cross the road. And remember that you can pause the video at any time if I'm going too fast. A highway is in Canada. It is wide. It runs through a big park. The park is called Banff National Park. Bears and coyotes live in the park. Deer, elk, and moose live in the park. Foxes and wolves live in the park too. All these animals need to roam through the park. Some migrate south in the winter. Some migrate north in the summer. They all look for food and they all find mates. Many cars and trucks travel on the highway. The cars and trucks travel fast. Do the fast cars and trucks hit the animals that cross the wide highway as they roam? No, they do not. They do not because of how the animals cross the road. How do the animals cross the road? The animals go over and under the highway. They go over on special bridges. They go under in special tunnels. Grass and plants grow on the bridges and in the tunnels. This is because the bridges and tunnels are not for cars. They are not for people. They are for animals. They keep the roaming animals safe as they cross the road. This is a nonfiction passage. So this is a true story about animals on this highway in Canada. I thought there was some pretty interesting information there. And remember, as we're talking about around the world as our unit of study, it's neat to read about Canada. The second passage behind it is fiction, but it's realistic fiction. It's going to talk about the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco. And if you remember back to Postcard Clues, we did read a little bit about that in that book. So I'm going to read this passage to you. Wes was going to California. He was going to San Francisco. He was going to walk across the Golden Gate Bridge. Wes said, I have never seen a gold bridge before. I can't wait to see the Golden Gate. Wes was surprised when he saw the bridge. It isn't gold, cried Wes. It is the wrong color. It's reddish orange. Why is the bridge called the Golden Gate when it isn't gold? A park ranger told Wes why. The park ranger said the bridge crosses a strait. A strait is a body of water. It is narrow. It joins two larger bodies of water. The Golden Gate Bridge crosses the Golden Gate Strait. The Golden Gate Strait is narrow. It joins two large bodies of water. It joins the San Francisco Bay to the Pacific Ocean. How did people cross the strait before? They used ferry boats. The ferries were slow. They took a long time to load. They took a long time to unload. Crossing the Golden Gate Strait on a reddish orange bridge is a lot faster. And you can see the bridge picture there. So when I flip over to the questions, remember you're going to need your highlighter. Question number one, what animal is not named in the story? A, elk, B, D, deer, C, owls, D, coyotes. Let's go back and let's take a look at how animals cross the road. And if you wanna take your paper and rip it off so that you can have it side by side to cross off, that's fine. So when I read how animals cross the road, I see where it says there's bear, coyotes, deer, elk, and moose. So I can cross off elk, deer, and coyotes because right in the first paragraph, it told me that up here. That left me with owls. Remember, I always like that strategy of crossing out what I don't know. So I highlighted C, owls. Wes thought the bridge was gold colored because, why did Wes think the Golden Gate Bridge was gold? Because of its name, of what he saw, of the strait it crossed, or what the park ranger said. 
I want you to go back and read the first paragraph because the answer is right in here. Go ahead and pause the video. And you should have highlighted A, its name. He thought it was a gold bridge because it was called the Golden Gate Bridge. Number three. Both stories are about roaming animals and people, getting from one side to another, joining two large bodies together, planting grass and, pl and plants on bridges. I'm gonna use my strategy of crossing out what I know can't be right. I know both stories don't talk about roaming animals and people, only the first one did. Getting from one side to another. The first story talked about crossing the highway the second talked about crossing a bridge using that straight. So that could be the answer. C, joining two large bodies together. The first story really didn't talk about that, so I'm gonna cross that out. Planting grass and plants on bridges. No, both stories definitely did not talk about that. So that left us with what answer? If you said B, you would be correct. Number four, an animal is not likely to use a ferry because a ferry is a kind of boat, because a ferry is painted reddish orange, because a ferry takes a long time to unload, because grass and plants don't unload, I'm sorry, do not grow on a ferry. So let's go back and see. What's a ferry? Well, ferries are boats that take people to and from. They're found on the water. So I'm going to say a ferry is A, a kind of boat. The Golden Gate Strait joins San Francisco Bay to Canada San Francisco Bay to California, the San Francisco Bay to the Pacific Ocean, the San Francisco Bay to the Golden Gate Bridge. You might wanna go back to the passage and let's see what it tells us in that story. And it tells us at the end of the third paragraph, I highlighted it there for you. And you can see that it says it joins the San Francisco Bay and the Pacific Ocean. C. So I'm going to hold my paper up for you. And you can double check your answers, pause the video. Make sure you have them correct. On the back, as we do with these passages, the first one, you're going to pick a word from the story. Write that word in your best handwriting. Not a sentence, just a word. Number seven, list the reasons the animals in Canada might need to cross the highway. And you're gonna to have to go back in that passage to find that. Number eight, you were told what a straight is in the story. List the three things you were told about straight. Number nine, write one or more sentences that tell what each story is about. And number 10, should people be able to walk across all bridges? Tell why or why not. So take a minute. You're gonna have to pause the video because I did read those quickly. So you may want to rewind and look at each answer, fill it in. And then you can check your page with my page. I picked the word Canada. The reasons animal, animals in Canada might need to cross the highway to migrate north, to look for food, to find mates, to migrate south. You were told what a strait is in the story. List the three things you were told about straits. And I put they joined two bodies of water. They gave us a strait is narrow. And I put that it is a body of water. Write one or more sentences that tells what each story is about. You may have chosen something different. 
I wrote, how animals cross the road tells us how animals in Canada migrate. The bridge that was the wrong color talks about the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco. Now, do you think people should or should not be able to cross bridges? Tell why or why not? So either you're going to write they should or they should not because and give me your reason.